Hi, this is Jason Yeagley, West Branch Middle School Principal, and I am coming to you with the five things in five minutes for the week of May 15th. So let's get started. All right, well, we're really winding down here. We have the May lunch menu. Uh, we do have round three of the map. We have two tests this week. All right, so we are nearing the end of testing. First of all, um, you know, these are going to show where the students are. They had three iterations of this. They had one in the fall, winter, and now spring. So let's get started with the five things you need to know for this week. Number one. Number one, scheduling forms for students are due Monday, tomorrow. They are due so we can make provisions for the schedule. So it's very important that they bring those in and so we can help make, you know, their schedule the best that it can be. Uh, you'll notice that I have listed on the site here uh, Mr. D'Amico's email if you have any questions. And that's grade 5 through 7. Of course, current 7th graders, uh, Mr. Yannon had that due earlier, and he did come and get those. So if you'd never turned that in, that's something you want to get on, and that is Yannon, Y-A-N-N-O-N, -N and he is a 8th grade school counselor. Number two, number two, field trip permission slips are due Tuesday. May 16th, so it's Sunday now, and of course you need to have those in by Tuesday. And I'm tallying points, collecting points, and having calls um, with families of any student who's not able to do it based on points. Remember, this is a celebration or reward for the year, and the, the uh, you know the slip says that. And of course, a majority of students are going to be able to go for sure. So the dates of the trip, remember, May 23rd, May 25th, and May 26th. All right, number three. Number three is we have physicals for students that will be in seventh grade and beyond. Um, I know here at the middle school, current sixth graders and seventh graders, if you want to play a sport next year, you do have to. In cheerleading, you do have to have a physical. So it's very important. Uh, on the uh, middle school site, there's been a lot, or excuse me, on the athletic site, there's been information sent out in final form. We are going to have the pre physicals on May 16th and the actual phys physical will be May 18th at 8 a.m. here at the middle school. There's no cost to this. Obviously if students are not able to do this they'll have to get a physical on their own. Do you have any questions please let me know and you can also email um, athletic director Mike Helm and he can give you any info that you need. Number four, number four, field day. It's May 31st. Uh, typically, we don't have families come for that, but a couple have asked if they can, and sure they can. Uh, I know as kids start getting to middle school, they don't necessarily always want you know mom, dad, grandma, and all that um, in attendance. Uh, but at the same time, if that's something you really want to do, we can you know we can definitely have you come. Um, it is our fourth nine weeks reward, and we've kind of refreshed it. Last two years, we've had a similar field day, and now we're trying to mix that up a little bit. And again, the date is May 31st. And finally, the day after May 31st, number five, we're talking about awards assembly. We're having the awards assembly on June 1st in the large gym. It's a great time to recognize all the students who have done great things and uh, have the schedule listed. We have 8.15, 9.15, and 10 o'clock. All right. Um, it's, very, uh, it's a very rewarding time. Feel free to... Be part of that. We try to be efficient with your time, yet still recognize students who have done a great job. So again, that is June 1st, which by the way is the last day of school. All right, well that is what I have for you. Um, again, this is the five things you need to know for this week. You'll notice at the top of my website I also have a space where I have the um, upcoming events, and that's a good thing to go to to make sure you understand all the things that are going on, and I have that listed on this page as well just to make sure you don't miss anything. Hey, that's what I have for you. If you have any questions, please get directly in contact with me. Um, send me an email. Give me a call. Uh, the best thing to do is the direct way versus, you know, social media, parent groups and all that. Uh, I've been saying it all year, but I am a fan of just going to the source. And I would say that um, in general is true with all the schools here. Just go to the website. If you can't find it, talk to the building principal and 